they call it the hatometer. And you're going to hear a lot about this. And I think we're going to see the hatometer go from an advising tool on the net that we're going to talk about here in this broadcast to where I think it's going to be a mandatory judgment. And it's going to have like the G, the R, the X rated. And I think eventually it's going to be used to strongly censor you and me. My name is Dave Hodges. I'm the host of The Common Sense Show. We are the show that is freeing America one enslaved mind at a time. And welcome to studio as we dub it a Z. As you can see, I'm in very humble abode here. Uh, not in our studio because we're out visiting family. But as I've said earlier today, you know, evil doesn't take a day off and we don't feel that we can either. And this is really an important topic, the hate meter We're going to get into that. But first, I need to let you know that we're brought to you by preparewithdave.com. In case you haven't noticed, you live in an increasingly unstable world. And all we need to do is have one of the people at the roadblock in Virginia starting on January the 9th make a bad decision and all hell breaks loose. And let me just share this with you. You know you need food, water, guns, gold, ammo, medicine, and tools. You already know that. We've had this discussion. However, you think, well, I'll just take care of it when I need to. No, no, no. Once the trouble starts, it's too late. In fact, look at Hurricane Harvey. Half a day, shelves empty. When the thing hits, it's over. So you know you need to get started right now. we got a two-week emergency kit, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, restaurant quality, 47% uh, off. We're extending the sale now beyond the holiday into the new year because we feel strongly we need to get people going at a very inexpensive price. And you're saying, what about me, Dave? I've got what I need. This is a great buyout situation. And if you're saying, oh, I want to add, but Dave, two weeks, buy multiple. It's that simple. Same thing I told you last month. Buy multiple, and you're never going to see these prices for, well, you're going to see these prices maybe for another 30 days. So you need to get on top of it now. Preparewithdave.com. All right, the hate meter The UK is developing something that's going to go viral on the net. And you know now what they try to do is, like on my broadcast, when I do something, they always follow up with Fox News. Okay. Um, occasionally, I've had Wikipedia overwrites in my description box. And, you know, as, as a former university professor, <laughs> we told our students never, 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 never cite Wikipedia. It's not academic, yet it's being used as an authoritative source. The hate meter. I, I can't vouch for whether they're going to detect hate or they're going to call your difference of opinion with globalists hate speech. You see, if you don't like something, you're a hater. Is it okay not to like something? Is it okay not to like something but not do anything bad based on your dislike? Is it okay just to have an opinion, say, I'm not sure I agree with that, but you're leaving well enough alone? Why? Why, why do we have to label hate, 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 because it's political correctness and it's how they will shut you up. The hate meter You're going to hear a lot about this. This is something that's in production right now as we speak. And I think that we're going to see a whole lot more of this kind of thinking as we move towards the 2020 election. We're just getting started with censorship, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's it for the Common Sense Show. Again, thank you for joining us. Hope you're off to a great new year. Hope you had a great night last night. And we will see you back here again next time. Please share, like us before you leave, and subscribe. And uh, next broadcast, yeah, we'll see you there too.